Welcome back everyone to another episode. Today it's October, the leaves are falling, and there is a cold front on the way. Right now it's still about 70, 71 degrees, but here in about in about another hour at four o'clock, that temp just starts shooting straight down. Tomorrow morning it's gonna be 31 degrees. So I wanted to catch this cold front on that very first few hours when the wind switches from the south to the north and uh, hopefully get on some deer getting out in some fields early tonight. A core of the leaves have fallen and it's made a massive difference in the timber. So once we get in there, we'll make a judgment call if we're gonna stay right on the field edge, if we're gonna push in a little bit. But either way, deer are gonna be on their feet. They already are. I saw them while we were driving around. It's the first day of an October cold front and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So I saw this cold front coming up on my vacation days in right away. So I got it all day tomorrow to hunt and then Maryland will be out Saturday. So that's the series of videos coming up this week. Hopefully we get on some deer. But that's enough rambling. I, this wind is almost fully switched to the north. I can feel it hitting me in the back already. Uh, let's get out in the woods and let's get after it. Feel that? Deer. I feel deer. <laughs> Before you, you want to go over there on that corner by the swamp or do you want to go closer to the front? That's what I've been debating this whole time. <laughs> I didn't mention it before, but neither of us could make a decision on what we should do tonight. Because, like I said, it's the first day of the cold front. So, decision paralysis. But we're going to make a decision quick while he gets dressed. And we're going to head out there. But I'm putting you guys away till we're in the tree.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all she wrote for today's hunt. It was, uh, for the most part, uh, anticlimactic other than that, <laughs> that fisher that was going to try to climb the tree and fist fight us. But <laughs> other than that, uh, which was really cool, uh, we didn't see any antlers. At the very end there, you heard some grunts before I faded to dark and met you here. We could have swore we heard some raking, so a buck like breaking branches, rubbing trees. So we figured throw a grunt out there. If he's fired up making, you know, scrapes and rubs, maybe he'll come over and check it out. But we never saw anything, never heard anything after that. So who knows, could have been one of the cattle, just making a lot of noise. But, you know, why not give it a shot? So that first evening in the cold front, it, it's always so good for so many people. And sure enough, on my social media, I saw two really big bucks get put down that night um as soon as that wind switch i think is more important than the actual temp but when you get a major wind switch from like north to then all of a sudden straight south in the matter of an hour or 30 minutes which happened to us um those deer they get up and they move they're not bedded for an opposite wind so a lot of times when that happens and it's close to the evening feeding time they're going to be up moving around in daylight my trail cameras showed that, uh, the social media, you know, some big bucks got killed. Uh, unfortunately, we just weren't quite in the right spot. And is it because of the cattle? Maybe. You know, that, that's one thing I've seen on, on social media recently was the debate of, you know, do cattle affect deer? And I know in my personal experience, it does. On our private 23 acres, there's a pasture behind it. Whenever there are cattle out in that pasture... Our cameras have half as many pictures as a normal day. When we're hunting, we see a quarter of the deer we normally see. So from my experience, yes, whenever there's cattle around, those deer don't like to be near them. They'll be in the same areas. Don't get me wrong. Like hunting over a pasture, you'll still see deer. You'll see deer every, everywhere. Um, but when cattle are around, it just seems like the deer kind of stay away. You, like tonight, we saw some does, some younger does, but they were very skittish the whole time. And I think it's because the cows were in the other half of that pasture. So maybe if we would have went somewhere else, we would have had some better action. But <laughs> like I had mentioned for a brief second, decision paralysis during this hunt. I went to three other public chunks of property sat in the parking lot thinking about if i was going to hunt it or not uh before we decided to just go sit together because neither of us could decide what to do we just said screw it i'll come hang with you we'll go to this spot you want to check out and we'll see what happens and you know it is what it is but i'm rambling a little too much here we got some awesome videos coming up we got uh maryland's first hunt here very soon uh i went out for a day i'm not sure if i'll make that a video yet or not we'll see what pops up in your feed in the coming week if you're subscribed but anyway for now i'm gonna let you guys go so make sure you like share comment and subscribe and until next time see you in the woods <laughs>